it's Sunday, we're back out on the Thames again. Second week running now. You see, we've got a few people here, look. The little people over there. We've got the Peakies, we've got Nicola, we've got Rusty, and we've got Richard from Cambridge. And he's back. <laughs> there he is, he's back. We were on the bridge, you see, because they're not man enough to come over here. Look, you can see there's, there's little Rusty. And he does look little over there, doesn't he? Yeah. Wave at the camera, Rusty. Wave. There we go. Told you we'd get an idiot to wave. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's being picked on already. <laughs> Definitely being picked on already. Oh, look, a reflector. No, that's more use than it is. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, you're getting proper picked. Look, he's stuck to the pole already. You ain't even got it wet yet, Steve. Are you going for the biggest find already? No. Dodgy looking thermostat. So Aaron's just found a uh, rusty mushroom. Ain't got a clue, mate. Actually, I brought a bucket with me. <laughs> God, you're really suffering today, mate. We're only just got going. Right, there we go. So Aaron's just pulled up Rusty's walking stick. There we go, hang on. See, he's over there. And there's his stick, look. So, yeah. He found his walking stick. It always worries me with walking sticks and crutches while they're in the water. Just hope it weren't a bad accident. <laughs> I suppose we will now, won't we? <laughs> so, there we go. I've got myself a shovel. Them lot have just been told off. It's funny, but I've got myself a shovel. Well, they're told off. <sighs> What you got, Aaron? I've got a big bike wheel. You got a wheel? And then I got a wheel off a of Nicola's bike. I thought that was a yo-yo. <laughs> well, it's definitely a wheel. It's got no. It's a tape measure. It's a tape measure. Correction. It's a tape measure. Not a correction measure, a tape measure. You got an old pedal. I've got an old pedal. And that's a big old rivet bolt. Spike. You need to go a bit lower, Aaron. You're too tall. There we go. Oh, there we go. We've got him in now. There we go, it's a vampire spike. Bit of flat plate. About six foot of it. I don't know where this is going. There you go, bit of bar. Bit more bar. He's still holding his rivet. And Aaron got a bike lock. And some rusty bowls. Look at this, we've been standing here now for half an hour, right? And this red light won't stop, it won't go. Shall we jump the lights? Go on, we're going to jump the lights. Bit of old gas pipe. There we go, got the, a knife handle. And the remains of a fork. Not much of that left. Bit of an old key? That's a clock key. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a clock winding key. And that's a... Uh, something. Sorry. Oh, it's got a lock on it. Right? Case. Locker. Yeah. And it opens up. Oh, so Aaron's found that. A key. Which is, I believe, an old clock winding key. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, to the top of a, yeah. a bag or something. Yeah, it opens like up, yeah. Yeah. Right. So we found the top of that. Looks like an old doctor's bag with a lock on it. It's going to see if we can find all the doctor's tools now. Doctor, doctor. Yeah. And some random rubbish. Told you I got here early. It's got a bungee strap. I'm not going to comment what that looks like. It's some sort of dodgy spring tool, look. I'm not sure what. It's a 
some twisted wire. I thought it was Mickey Mouse for a minute, but it's half a padlock. <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron's found, well, he thought it was Mickey Mouse, but it's a padlock actually. But it looked like it. What you got there? You got anything exhaust? Your exhaust is after getting your great find. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a great and an exhaust. I've got the bracket for a handrail of something off, off the stairs. Oh no! Elf's come off again. I need a bungee. I need a bungee in. So, spade and rollocks. Seems to find a lot of rollocks around here. This old square nail seems rather boring now. So Aaron's got some cable and a ding ding bell. What's it? Computer. Computer. My handle on the side. Man, the computer. <laughs> it's a squirter. What's on the other end? Like a big electric box. It's like the power button, isn't it? That's a oh, hydraulic fuel tank, isn't it? Oh, we need to turn that. Hydraulic cables. <laughs> Some sort of filter system, isn't it? Yeah. Got all like fuel filters in it. Oh god, yeah. What a spot, Marge. I oh, know. I'm glad my missus. I'm glad my missus. Come down. Sorry, I'm busy. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a bit dark. Try around there a bit. That's better. What you got, Aaron? I've got a sign. Well, Danga! Live apparatus! <laughs> <laughs> Dang. might have found all these cool things, but at least I can keep mine. Yeah, but anyway, that's an old enamel. So I'll bring it in a bit closer. Let's have a look. And that, uh, Clint's going to clean up well. That. It's in really good condition. And he's found another box as well. Yeah, it's a bit heavy. It's a heavy box, yeah. but he's a big lad. I'm sure he can manage. Let's have a look. Asparagus, really. Yeah. <laughs> as Clinton said, Danga, live asparagus. <laughs> and he found this look it's got a hydraulic tank in it it's got pipes and a lever on the side some sort of bleeding system but i'll let him put it down now because it is heavy but yeah some box that's one hell of an anchor <laughs> another one what is this shovel city oh, oh what a surprise okay got an old handle off something that's a proper old one as well. Right, so we You put it in Rusty's bucket. Yeah. Right, so Aaron's rimming it. It's got a bit of bite rim. It's got a, a bit of tube. I wouldn't want to sit on that one. A very uncomfortable saddle. And have a bike, was a bike lock and something really random for this sort of area. A track explosive. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Another one. It's my third one today. That's my third one today. Come on, this three now, and Aaron's out. That's four. Got an old square nail. Really? A 
fish plate here? Really? Seriously? So Aaron's got himself another bit of bike saddle and definitely the remains of a knife. Not much of that left, mate. No. It's nearly as old as Rusty. Yeah, nearly as rusty as Rusty. <laughs> So this is actually a class knife. You can just see the marlin spike just there, just proper crusted into it. So that's Aaron's first class knife. I'm going to say to Nick, she wanted a spoon. I've got a spoon. Now Nick said that she forgot the spoon this morning for coffee, so I'm going to see if I can tempt her with that one. Hey. And just some general rubbish. <laughs> Steve! Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got. <laughs> you look like you got a tip. <laughs> oh no, it's hexagonal. I think oh. it's. A, I think it's a tip off a jackhammer. <laughs> no, we are. We think it's a jackhammer tip now. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of hexagonal. It's one of them log splitters, isn't it? Looked a bit dodgy when it was laying down with the dirt on it. <laughs> right, yeah, let's see if I can tempt Nick with a spoon now. It's a log grenade, but it's what they call a log grenade. Right, put it in your bucket, find it in. <laughs> Quite a thick one. So, Aaron's found a barrel rim, you can see all the studs in it. Are you off, Murray? I don't realise he bought my box as well. Right. We've only got one Evo and one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got a little now, Boo. Oh, look, it's a lot of We kept finding them last week. I think a lot of Victorian kids here. Um, it's a fence topper and something that looked quite dodgy when it came out. But it's a jackhammer spike, fortunately. <laughs> You've got to speak, Aaron, so they know okay, who you are. Some kind of decorative brass thing in me Bob and what's it and then uh, I don't know it's, it's made very specific that end with a square point that end but it's one of them and then uh, I've only got one spoke <laughs> that's not very good so just found this piece of wood come out with rag wrap around it and it's got a wheel tied to it it's actually tied on there don't know what that's all about I really don't And I found that. I found a button. There we go. I'm going to give that to Glenn to take back and clean, see if there's anything on it. A sash wind away. I thought you found a cosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mudguard. Yes. What's the bearing? I've got a bearing down there as well, smaller one. Oh. I'm bearing up though. Pipe ring. And an os shoe. Os shoe. So, I've just found something. I've got to turn the camera away from the water because the light's terrible around it. I believe that is a really old compass. And I mean proper old. It could be Christopher's Columbus. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's a compass. But proper old school that is. Not much of it left though. <sighs> yeah. Oh, flies got him here. <sighs> oh god. Oh, fly went in here. That was horrible. Right. Okay. So <laughs> that's spade shovel number five. <laughs> you got all in there, mate. He's got a cutthroat razor. Oh, look at that. First one I've ever had. I've only ever had one. Oh, yours is awesome, but mine's clean, but you guys have a cutthroat. We have, tr we have trouble dragging them away from them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stick grenade. Oh. 
Steve! Rusty! Stick! Oh, it's a rifle grenade! <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's a rifle grenade. Still got a pin in it. I was raking it. I got a rifle grenade. You got a rifle one. <laughs> Just tape it on the side. It might be a screwdriver. Is it a pineapple? Do uh, you take it off? Oh, yeah, go on. Mate. What's yours now? How's <laughs> 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 a firework? <laughs> Never found one of them. Live. Still got the yeah, pin in. Pin in it, yeah. Yoo! <laughs> Oh, you might as well make it worthwhile for the guys to come out. Yeah. Oh, it is, isn't it? Keep going, just keep it in the water for now. What's yeah. that, World War One or two? That's World War. That could be that could be two, but I'm <laughs> saying, I'm guessing God. World War One with that one. <sighs> so the bomb squad coming out of that. <laughs> oh definitely. What's that? A rifle Fire. grenade. A rod for a grenade. Yeah. A rifle grenade, you shoot them out of a rifle. Oh right, so yeah. it's World War Two again? Probably one. Is it one, is it? Yeah, because it's not pineapple-y. Oh, it's still I, th I think this could be a two actually, World War Two, because the World War Ones are more pineapple-y. Yeah, they are. Right, okay. You know, the World War Two's not blow up as much. Just try it. It sounds like just friendly. Determined you, Tell you what, that was a rough old pub. You showed us what it is. Someone lost their boot. It is, yeah. If that pub was renowned for something. For goodness sake, can we not take I couldn't be upstage by the peakies. Come on. <laughs> I need to whack that bit of crud off. Go, go Come here, there and go back. Because <laughs> <laughs> the light keeps changing. Right, okay, so <laughs> after what last week. this time, Nigel? <laughs> <laughs> well, some nice begonias over there and carnations, but anyway, enough of planting, you know, because we're fishing now, but my first one ever, I pulled a rifle grenade. As you see, still got the pin in it, we're still live, never found one of them, but that... Really good condition. It is, that is a complete rifle grenade, and I'll tell you what, that's flipping heavy. Glenn, there's a nice bit of brass on here. See if the pin's free. <laughs> but, <laughs> yep, so it looks like an anxious me this time. But I can't say, check out Rusty Nuts video, check out Peaky Dippers video, and check out Dudley Dippers because they're been just as bad as me. There we go, so, there we go, close up, can you see that? My first flipping rifle grenade. Right, I'm going to get that in a bucket and we better get on the phone. I'll fill my bucket up. Just do it, down. That's a little, that's a shoe seg thing, <laughs> or shoe, or Nicholas Pony, and uh, a rake. Have we got a bucket then? accident. This one's got a brake flexi hose and a niff. Ooh, it's been a while, that one. It has, hasn't it? That'll clean up nice. Well, well no point, it'll go in the amnesty bin. Hey? Yeah. So what you got, Aaron? A really small um, hobnail boot. You yeah. sure it's not Nicholas My Little Pony? It could be. I'll ask her. <laughs> God dear. <laughs> oh God. It is as well. Why not shovel though? That's a grenade. Yeah, nice. Steve! <laughs> Anything you can do, we can do better. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a bit slower since then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got oh, one. another one. <laughs> it is Easter. It is. It's another one. <laughs> Is that a French? Yeah. That's different to yours, isn't it? No, that's another French. It's another one. It's the same, yeah. Yeah. Just it looks is. a bit higher on the top there. Don't <laughs> yeah, it's built. Different style. <laughs> that one ain't got a pin in here, has it? So no. I'm in. No, I'll just tap it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, if you're using it, we better keep it. <laughs> what you found, Aaron? A French egg grenade. <laughs> oh, that's the second grenade we've had today. Yeah. Oh, oh well, they're coming. Anyway. It's him. <laughs> we was all right till he turned. Oh, look, it's all going wrong, but. There we go, look at Planted. that. Oh, this is Ricky Rhubarb. Hello. You see him in the comments quite often. We he's see, he's come to see. join us. He fancied coming gardening today, so he came along. Oh, yes. But there we go. Bring it in. Let's have a look. 
Oh, there we go. So, yeah, that is a French egg grenade. And Aaron's too tall for me camera. I have to keep tipping it. When Rusty comes, he's going to have to stand on stilts. Hang but on. hang on a minute, because Steve, Steve's oh, got, coming. Got shovel number six. <laughs> God, not another one. And this one, here, oh, this one here, this one here, it's Nick Rock. She's been standing by a red light for the last half an hour. Because <laughs> when it said when red light shows wait here, she got the wrong idea and oh, she's no. been trying to drum up business. Don't follow her hoe. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got, Rusty? I got an egg grenade. <laughs> oh, snap. Little, bring him in. Two bold ones together. Bring your balls in together, lads. <laughs> See, Steve's plums is a bit narrower than ours, but. <laughs> But, oh my god, look, there's another one. And we're still waiting for him to come and collect that's it, so French, that's, yeah. I've had all the mills, I've never had one of these before. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, boys, get them back in the bucket, because yeah, they'll be here yeah. soon. <laughs> oh, sirens in the background. <laughs> well. There we go, so Aaron's on tape measure number two now. I've got some old hook type thing. Got a ring. Got an old pen knife. Not much of that one left. <laughs> yeah. So, shovel number seven. Seven. <sighs> Mad. Oh, he's got an old decorative handle. Oh. Never had half wood before. Look at that. He's got Arthur's os shoe. He's so busy, Arthur, isn't he? Yeah. That's a very old knife. Nicola's size. Nicola, found your dagger. I got my dagger. Thank you. Shouldn't really catch it. <laughs> so I found a little plate. It's an ammo one, and it says out on it. Haven't got in, but we've got out. So we've got number eight. Spade number eight. Christ, that worried me. <laughs> yeah. It's a blooming old one, that is. So I've got the centre out of a bike wheel. Look at that for an old shock absorber. That's proper old school. That's shocking. No, I bet that is old. That is proper old. Old shock absorber. I've got a spear. That's a weird thing, isn't it? That's got to have some kind of special purpose, isn't it? That's would have been wood. Spear. I've got a spear. Spear. <laughs> It is as well, isn't it? Yeah. It is as well. 100 foot of these two on the horses, Calvary. Steve. See if he remembers <laughs> his birthright. <laughs> Do you remember these? <laughs> <laughs> Playing with these when you were kids. <laughs> well, I know what it is. I do. It should have a wooden handle here, a T shaped handle, and use it for putting holes in wood. Oh. It's a drill bit. It's a drill. Ah! Yeah, I thought you can tell there's wood. That's where wood would have been. Use them on lock gates. Use them on lock gates. Right, to drill the like hole through the lock. Yeah. It was a oh, spear. No. <laughs> Bloody bubble burster! <laughs> you straight down there, Yorkshire. It's a consolation. It could be late 1800. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Mate, for measuring sugar, look. <laughs> it's gunpowder for all your grenades. You've stopped. 1901. <laughs> 
that's where it is, it's a drill. Excuse me, say, Aaron, bear me back, that's it, cheers. It's not, it's a spear. I used them on heavy, heavy wood. One level burst. <laughs> And I helped him get his magnet off the side. <laughs> so I've just found this Iron Age spear until Rusty burst my bubble and told me it's a drill bit. It's a very old drill bit, but apparently you should have a wooden hand on there and you put that into wood and you twist it. And yeah, it's a probably Victorian drill bit. Still an interesting find though, but bubble burst. Bit of lamp post, nice. Alright, so I've got half a lamp post cover. And another Bowie knife, like I found last week. God, they keep coming, them things do, don't they? Your third knife of the day. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot there. That's a very stubby knife, that is, Aaron. Yeah, Nicholas would make a sandwich with it. Mm, no, I don't know, she can't play with knives, she's not old enough. <laughs> Ah, oh, 1937. Oh, wow. Ka-ching! Motor Lawns License, 1937. Oh, nice. So, there we go. Just got myself a Thames Motor Launch License. Look, as you see, 1937. But these clean up really well, these do. Oh, well happy that. Licence number 12, 13. Great find. A random ring. It's got a random ring. It's got a razor blade. Put a bit of screws in. Yeah, it's got a sort of a um, metal siding, isn't it? Like on yeah. a train track, in all fairness. The metal bridges. And a big bolt that's yeah. bent. Not good. So Alan found a grenade, an exhaust pipe, but it, it, it did look dodgy when it came out with the pineapple fins. A bit more of his pipe. Cast flange. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of cast flange. Wait, yeah, he's good. What you got, Arrow? Arrow, Arrow, Arrow. Shovel, Arrow? <laughs> shovel number nine. What else you got? I've got a fork. That's not a fork. <laughs> That's a fork. <laughs> look at the fork in size of that. <laughs> I don't know what you'd use that for. That's more your fork, that is, isn't yeah, it? That's for forking big things. Actually, <laughs> we, if we had four of them, we could make a cage for Nicola. Because <laughs> a big fork. God knows. Look at home, got another one of them pen, light, <laughs> pen knives that I had last week. Like the old army type ones with the wooden handle. <laughs> got a scaff plate. Bit of bar. The remains of a push bike. That's pretty much gone, that is. And a ring. Some bar. Got a hook on it. I've got these. I'm not quite sure what they are. That's one, another one of them that's broken off. It's pretty heavy, not pretty thick steel. It's got 9238 numbers on there. And it says on there, either gas or GKS. Ain't got a clue. You got a vampire spike. Yeah. What you got, Aaron? Spike. Spike. And spark plug. plug. Oh, look, what are them that you had? I reckon they're nipple clamps. You don't. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> He's got a spark plug. Screams. <laughs> no. So I've got a rod rest. And I've got a handle. I need to get a bag to put some. That's my number plate, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, just... I've got a bit of a number plate. Ooh, fortunately. Then, yeah, it's a solid lump, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I've got a bit of a number plate. Just got the number eight on it. Shame really, that'd be nice to be incomplete. And I've got a plug, bath plug, solid lump of metal. So I've got a fire poker. He's got a poker. 
And I've got a handle. I've got two more rod nail boots. They keep coming, they do, don't they? Yeah. And I've just got some random rubbish I'm going to pile up down there. Get a bag while I'm down here then. Padlock, brake lever, the bull welder for a 501. A weird looking nail thing. Flat nail with a bit on top. And I've got a big bucket handle. Like a little one. A couple of old bucket handles. <laughs> Aaron's got a key, an old ignition key. So, Aaron's got an os shoe and a valve. Valve, yeah. <laughs> and a valve. A big, big, big for a boat. <laughs> it's, it's the spades in the pokers that come out, so we talk yeah. the old. So, the spade the number 10 for today for me and Aaron. She's right down there. Spoon, because Nicola wanted another spoon. I needed that. Just give this a stir for me. Who's is that? That's Marie's. That's all I can get. <laughs> can stir Marie. And that really weird looking spanner. Now we're not 100 percent sure on that, so we will rely on you. What is that spanner for? It's for Rusty's nuts. <laughs> or is it a magnifying glass? It's for Rusty's nuts. I'm broken. He's today. bright, he's got bad ribs. Oh, no. Sorry about it. No worries. Didn't see you when you are this. <laughs> <laughs> they broke me today. And we're not ribbing him for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ribbing him, Glenn? We've not ribbed him today, have we? We've not ribbed him today. No, no not, it, not he's, so far. he's ribbed himself. He's ribbed himself. You shouldn't mock the afflicted. Do you want a strap on? <laughs> <laughs> I meant strap you up, you know, to hold your ribbing. Trust him to twist it, eh? You've got a strap on. Oh, yeah, watch it. I've stirred your wife's tea with that. Be careful about <laughs> kissing her later. <laughs> a strap on sword. Another os shoe. It's not really. It's a knob nail boot shoe. Yeah, the Nickers, my little pony. No, nope, that's off some Victorian child that went for a swim with his shoes on. Lost his shoe and got told off by his mum. Like Nicola tells us off. She's banned us from all the nice things in life. <laughs> there we are. Look. I had a big one. Hang on, hang on. Let's put it straight. Right, so had a big one. You, go, and well, a little shoe. A little shoe. And uh, a medium one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's very weird and deformed horse. <laughs> it's got three different sized feet. Sort of like Glenn, but he's only got two. <laughs> Nudge. I think that's another rifle grenade. <laughs> so I said, I've got a pipe. <laughs> oh, don't show Marie. I think that is a, another rifle grenade. Part of Simple. That's a toy though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's yeah. some wood though, isn't it? No, it isn't. I thought that at first. Looks like the end of a pump inside a motor. Oh, to I'd me. say more than yeah. one. No, I think it is. That looks brass. It does, to be fair. Yeah, it is. It's another It's rifle. off the top, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've got a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, don't jump me with that. I'm going to. The ball joint, really. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. 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 Well, if they're coming for them, you might as well get them off. What you found, Aaron? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Here we go, yeah. And I found a pipe. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell Marie it is because that'll give her loads to talk about. But also, I've got Sonny Cows here, which is Aaron's. What you got, Aaron? <laughs> well, Steve thinks it's another style of rifle grenade. So. Looks like they're going to be coming back. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to put in a bucket. Okay. <laughs> a couple of old nails and a spark plug. I'm not talking about Marie and Nicola. Got a big bolt. Bike lock. Spindle out of a bike wheel. And a little wake. It's got the loop on the top of it. Look, there we go. It's an old, looks like a wheel centre, but it's not. A roll of something. Okay, there we go. So I've got part of a cast iron barbecue. And Aaron wants to show you a few bits and bobs. 
but you won't hear him because I've got the microphone. Hang on, let me go back. Oh, I'm heading back. Put what you got? Spade number 11, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I've got that. He's got part of a bang bang. Ooh. Old and all by the look of it. That I know Nicola was fishing that area. Yes. That's she stirred it up for him, otherwise he'd never have found it. Right, then we've got... Oh. You got boat hook. And forks. More forks. <laughs> Some random rubbish. I saw Rusty just said something. He put me right off. <laughs> what you got, Aaron? Two pit pony shoes. Oh, small child. Oh, you got yourself an iPhone. I have. And a new phone case. Just need to put in some rice. Yeah. Yeah. The Chinese down the road. <laughs> well, there we go. So we have a coil and a pair of scaff plate feet. Pole feet. Got some more keys. Keys. And some roller skates. Right, so. Mmm. Have a sack barrel for Nicola. Remains of a push bike, and I mean the remains. And a couple of poles. Well, that's a bolt, and that's like a decorative piece on the end. A leaf spring. Oh, a leaf spring. Oh, yeah, that must be like the front cover on a fire or something. Yeah, it's like for the um, ash yeah. box. It's yeah. Cast iron like that. That's nice, isn't it? Loads of random bits, including the centre of a bike wheel. Loads of random, Loads of random rubbish. Oh. Loads of random rubbish. Show it. He's found one of them. I don't know what it is. It's a, a bit. Looks like a lever. It's a point changer for a kid's train set. Yeah, okay. Oh, it flickers on here. Marie, why are you standing by a red light? Red light district. <laughs> Does that mean go then? <laughs> Actually, it does take about 10 minutes, so you're going to be there for a long time. <laughs> so, Aaron's found another track explosive. Oh dear, here we go again. Someone following you, mate. So, I've got a bike lock. I've got a bike lock. Mine's longer. Mine's wobblier. I've got a bike wheel. I've got a ring. Um, Come on, counter out that then. I've got a wheel. I've got a reel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really old reel. Take it a bit closer. Look at that. Proper old school, that. Old. Yeah, right, okay. So, I'll move my ding ring. I've got deja vu. I've got a bike lock and I've got a rim. I've got a padlock and I've got a handle. <laughs> handle! <laughs> oh, oh I'm in your way, aren't I? See, it rust is in the way. I've got an handle. It's a really rusty bucket handle. I've got a step. I've got a bit of bar with a hook on. I've got a ladle <laughs> with no handle. So you've not got the lure? No. No. Got the... You've just got a yadle. Yeah. So. Of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, I've got the Olympic torch, but Rusty's got found sunny cows for it. Hang on. Come on, Steve. I'm Jake the Peg. <laughs> <laughs> With the cast iron leg. <laughs> so he thinks it's that. Timbers. I think, oh, me, me camera's dropping. I think it's the Olympic torch, but Steve thinks it's for his leg. <laughs> Tell you what, that's really heavy. It is. That is a proper lump of cast iron, that. <laughs> and shopping trolleys. Uh, right, so I've got a shark fin air off a BMW. Okay, so it's a bit of a bridge. But it does come with a little shoe for a child shoe. I think that's a load of Rolex. <laughs> and I've got a cast iron cooking pot. Yeah, you and your pot. <laughs> BMW, shark fin aerial. Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> 
I've got a rusty bolt with a battered end. Sounds like Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got a blue ring. <laughs> I've got a barrel ring. And then I've got a square nail that goes in it. Look, oh, it's telling the old Nicola. <laughs> Candle snuffer. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. I've got a rifle bolt. Well, it's off a garden gate, but Glenn come running when I said and he tripped arse over it. It was funny. Yeah. I've got heat shield. And you're in the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm born in the way. Got a bit of twisty wire. I've got candle snuffer. I've got a bit of drain pipe, cast iron, which I just threw at Nicola. And I've got that as well, which is hinged something, adjuster, maybe. Nicola. Ow! I stepped away from the history and went modern with a chav can and a burner fire. And then a scaffold foot, a piece of bar, no, it's a fork fork base and a bit of a rim. I'll chuck it at Nicola. Ow! Another bike lock, cast iron guttery. Oh. <sighs> right. Is that to hold your big end shell in? <laughs> Another clump and a square nail. Hang on, here we go. Ow! It's great here, you know. <laughs> oh, about that. It's a bit of shovel. <laughs> Oh, and a handful of scrap. you got to throw him at Nicola. No, I can't, I like her. Aww. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of bar. Can you twirl? Can you twirl with your bar? <laughs> Good at javelin now. Oh! <laughs> got her. <laughs> there we go, I've got an old knife blade. Fat old thing that is, but unfortunately, it's broke. Oh, I've got a bottle of coffee Titanic. That could be part of a rudder at the boat. It's ruddy heavy. Right, Aaron, what, what, what have you got? That's a, a big, that's a big catapult. That's a catapult for you, isn't it? Yeah. Flip your neck. Holy roly drill bit. <laughs> Old school drill bit, yeah, definitely. It's getting tiring. Tied. He's got a dredge bit. Rusty come up with a posh name, but if he's wrong, I'll look stupid. So it's a dredge bit. It's a tine. <laughs> We've got Mercedes shark fin aerial now. A lot of shark fin aerials here. It's got like a bit of dinner tray, metal, though. just a plate, a bolt. Well, it looks like a tooth, a twisted tooth on a bracket. There we go, got an old chisel and that yeah, thing there. Oh, it is metal, it looked like that was wood, how rotten it was, but it's like it goes on brakes, like a calibre. It looked that way, yeah. I don't know whether that was a clamp for a tube. It could be, it could be a fixing for a tube. I know it was one of the <laughs> So, this chap turned up with his mate. Hi there. And look what his mate pulled out on his first pull. Dave, what you like, mate? A Mills grenade on the first pull. So we've actually got the police on the way now for the sunny house that's been found, so that's going with it. Oh, what a day. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Is it your fault? No. Is it your fault? I didn't do it. Was it your fault? Was it your fault? It wasn't my fault, enough to do Was it that. yours? It wasn't mine, it was Well, me. I can't say any more than that, because it's everybody else's fault, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, girls, buy your post. <laughs> well, your mouth open like that, you'll earn a few quid. <laughs> and as you can see, Rusty Nuts is on the phone to the police again, because of um, more stuff that's come out. It's been happening all day. The police have been really good so far, so let's just hope this time, after a multiple of phone calls, they're good now. Yes. <laughs> and we've never dealt with these police, have we? Not this many times. 
No. So, oh, they've arrived. They've got a Honda. <laughs> Am I here? No. <laughs> We can't do Rusty on the bridge this week because it's a little bit busy. So what we're going to do, we're going to do Rusty on the phone. Rusty on the phone, yeah. yeah. So, what I've done, I've found some kind of explosive device here. <laughs> I, I can't get up on bridge this week because I've closed it off. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're really in the cobbles or what, to be honest. Oh, well. People keep going past. <laughs> <laughs> I've put ten pound on my phone. I've used it already. I'm, a, I'm, in, I'm in credit now. <laughs> we so, have abusive Rusty on on the towpath this week. It is uh, Rusty on the phone being abusive this week. There's now Rusty you know on the what beach. he needs. He needs a bit of ribbing. He does. He needs a bit of ribbing. <laughs> <laughs> so your husband out because I'm getting a bit airy today, yeah. I'm getting sick and tired of it. That box behind him says SRI. Does that mean it goes quicker? <laughs> <laughs> and also on that box behind Steve, hang on, it says 999. And who you're on duck for, and hey, you know what it is, don't you? Because if he's from Yorkshire, the call's got to go all the way to Yorkshire before it goes back down. <laughs> I've just got me. Uh... Hang on, look, look. Danger, danger. <laughs> What's that song? Danger, danger. Da, 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 da. I was thinking more stranger danger. <laughs> Hang on, talking of danger, where's Nick? Oh, down there going, what's the dog walking down there? She's, she's here, here, here we go, look. She's she's bomb. Bomb. Yeah, she's done a much better job than Steve, look. Um, <laughs> look, there we go, there's, there's little Nick, look. Don't want to go down there. They can bomb! <laughs> you ain't coming down. She, she just does it with her uh, infrasound, doesn't she? Does she, s does she say bow on? <laughs> a bow on, a bow on. Let's, let's flick that knit off his head, are you? Got a knit on his head, are you? Hang on. Shh, swine. Swine. No. <laughs> He looks like he's posing for a club ball, you know, like, look, he's got the stand. He has, not he? He's got the stand. You, you look where his hand is, look. It's on his hip, look. It's, it's like authority, isn't he? He's like a Marshall Ward catalogue from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? He ain't stopped anybody now. Hey, Rusty? I oh, know. Nicola has. There's a toddler come past and he says, oh, come on then, quick, quick. <laughs> Little Nicola on the other side are stopping the big people, the big blokes and everything. Oh, what you got, Aaron? I've got a massive chopper. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll say no more about that. Oh, that's a big chopper. And I hear you found something mouth. else as well. Yeah, I have. Uh, I've got some track explosives. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're down there anyway. <laughs> I've got a sad iron. I think it's sad because it's lost its handle. Oh, it's a handle of sad iron. Um, got a horseshoe. Another one? Yeah. And I've got a brake flexi. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> hey, I'll tip the camera down so you don't yeah, have to look, pick look, everything up. Scaffs, um, look, there we go. That's his pile. He's got a scaff tank. He's got end of a spanner. He's got a toy with a grip on it. You've got a pump. Yeah, some gas pipe. Sign. Yeah. And look at all that lot. Oh, dear. Come on then, Dave. Show what you found. I'm just cutting across, sorry. So he turns up a little bit late, how late, like hours late. Yeah, hours and late. And what have you found? Little, tiny little no, muff gun. No, no, look at the size already. of that, look. Hang on, I've lost you. That's tiny. It's a good one, isn't it? I've got one similar as well, but it's a toy one. Oh, no. You've got a collection of them now. Yeah, get in there. Oh, you've got a cash box. Well, actually, no. No? It's a pebble box. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they call that? Beached. <laughs> As you can see down there, um, we have the road closed off. Down there, got the police all standing around, and um, see the road is cordoned off. You got some tongs. They're actually Dave's. Dave's tongs. Tong tong. That's a cup prank club, you know, isn't it? 
So Aaron's got a train coupling hook and a load of rubbish. Oh no, it's got to Scaffold pole. <laughs> so I've got the remains of an old push bike. Not much left there. That's what he said. There you go, old bit of bar. I'll handle off something. That's a lid on screws. So, we just found a bollard. It's got a metal ring on it. If that's what? Oak. Oak. He's heavy. So all them straps we've been finding aren't off barrels, they're off these. They are, because they're, they're much bigger. Yeah. No, but there was these small ones as well, weren't there? <coughs> yeah, the rings I had to tape with that. Bollards, we've got to move that now. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Chop that up into a head for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a bit of guttering. And I've got another chopper. Metal handle chopper. Look at that. Unbelievable. Another chopper with a metal handle. A second one now in two weeks. What you got, Aaron? He's got a fork and handle if you didn't hear that. <laughs> Gorilla grip. No, it's not, but we knew you'd say it was a rollock. We had a bet on it. I don't even think it's a rollock, to be honest. No, we thought off push, old push part, the brakes, where the pull up the brakes. Yeah. But right. then again, it would pivot here, wouldn't it? Don't know. Anyway, I found a bit, and it is actually a bit, it's a real bit, it's an horse bit. Has been bit as well, so. Kinky bit. <laughs> Kinky Give bit. Give it to Marie. Go with the wobbly. And Aaron's found something as well. He's found a Swiss Army knife full of Allen keys. Gorilla grip. Gorilla grip. And he's found a pipe cap. A file and some chain. Aaron's got a file and some chain. There we go. Just got myself a bullet. All corroded to a lump of crud there. But, yeah, got a single bullet. Heavy that is. So I've got a spark plug. And I've got a snail's head. It's not about the size of it, it's the quality. <laughs> and I've got a saddle and a knife. That's not a knife. And that's a load of old rubbish. <laughs> Another load of old rubbish. Another load of old rubbish. I got a bolt. I got a spark plug. And some more rubbish. He's got some more rubbish. <laughs> you didn't want to do that, you silly girl. Ding ding! Ding ding! You've got the nice rusty ring, Glenn. I've got a ring and the centre of a bike wheel. Aaron, what you got? <laughs> the inevitable. Show me, Rolly. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Yeah. There we go, and Aaron's got another axe head. Oh, it's another fantastic down the Thames, as you can saw my rifle grenade and Aaron's grenade and bits and bobs and watch the others videos you've got to check them out because they had some amazing finds as well but we did really well marie she did well she's probably got her best find ever there she is look there's aaron he caused the trouble as you saw mind you so did i and so did someone else but you'll have to see who else that was see them all down there we've got ricky from cambridge we've got little nick we've got dave and ben the alcoholics we've got russ we've got rubs ribsy rod nuts <laughs> But yes, Steve's going to have to have a rest now because he needs to recuperate because his bones are getting brittle. But he'll be all right. And we have Glenn there in the background. But it's been a fun day. Everybody's had amazing finds. You see, big pile of scrap there for the scrap man. Another one down there with the Maplin's holiday reps, the yellow coats. Long story. But the wasps, yes. So 
If you haven't subscribed to these lot, go to their channels, go over to Cambridge Magnificent and check them out because they've got some great water as well and we will be heading back there soon. But we'll catch you Friday for the live and thank you all for watching. Say goodbye everyone. Bye.